Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard to this flying jet. This time it's flying because we have a very exciting, award-winning actor in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not an ordinary person, but someone way above our standard. He is an award-winning actor, he's an acting coach, and he is an aspiring director. Why you don't help me introduce none other than Patrick Nkakalukanyi. <laughs> You're welcome, Patrick. Thank you. It's thank an you so honor much. to see you here. Ah, thank you so much. We, the honor is mine. Exactly. The fans <laughs> have always said, we want Patrick. Ah. That guy is so passionate about the industry. He's so passionate about his life. He's an award-winning actor. Thank you. We thank have you. always wanted you in the show. Tell thank me more. You. What's up? <clears throat> um, uh, well, like you said, uh, well, I have an award. <laughs> okay. How does it feel to have um, an award? It, it just means more challenges. Okay. Because now there are certain things now you can't do, hmm. even if you wanted to, simply because you have an award. Are you sure? Yeah. You can't jump on uh, the border? Uh, well, 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 no, no, no. For me, for me, now those ones I can't do because that's okay. life. That's okay. normal oh, for okay. me. <laughs> but, but, but in terms of the craft now. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, 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 the projects that if, if someone saw you there and mm -hmm. they know that you won an award, okay. they'll be like, uh-uh. What was he thinking? It's below your He's standard. an award winner. Exactly. Okay. And yet sometimes it's, it could be like a pilot. Someone's mm. pilot, a mm. friend. Mm. That, ah, Angel has a pilot mm. and uh, we want to try this thing and mm. see. Let, let's push him together. Okay. But now you can't. You have to think about it. That, okay. eh, what will people think? What will people think? If, if it doesn't, uh, yeah, if it doesn't pan out well. Mm -hmm. If the script is bad. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Now I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I need to be part of ABC. Okay. I, I actually um, I met a friend who is in a, is in marketing. He's called Zabu. He's yes. actually my agent at the moment, yes. and he sat me down and uh, he just gave me these things as nuggets, like food for thought. Mm. But the more I thought about them, I'm like, wow. Okay, so it's actually a big deal it actually to have sense. an award. Yes, mm. regardless. It's of, not just the award. Uh, yeah, it's not just yes. No. Being mm. in this position where you have to be selective on certain projects, you yeah. do, doesn't it also come with challenges? Don't people look at you as this guy is being selfish, he's being proud, of he's course, being this. of course. And how do you handle of that? Of course, there'll, there'll, there'll be those that that say pride. Mm -hmm. There'll be those that say, ah, now it feels too too, too big. bad, too big, mm -hmm. he's aloof, mm -hmm. and then there'll be others that will be simply challenged. Yes. Like there'll be jobs that I miss out simply because I have an award. Yes. And people are, people see that and they're like, ah, sure? that one is now beyond us. I sure? don't think we can afford him. That means like you're think... overqualified for the job. Exactly, exactly. Which which is a good thing, but it's also, you know, it, it comes with its flaws really. Because sometimes all you want to do is do what you what you love. You mm -hmm. know, you just keep doing and doing. But at the moment I've um the, the 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 rate at which I used to get projects yes. is no longer the same rate. Introduced. And and for me I, I somehow I I relate it to the to the award. Some people feel like ah it's too big now. Mm. Then others feel like I'll challenge them so much okay. because now I have an award and stuff <laughs> like that. And I'm like, it's fine. Challenging them in which way? Like <clears> the <throat> director saying he'll challenge me while I'm directing or? Yeah, probably. Probably. Because, you know, usually with us now, mm. uh, the writer is usually the director or the okay. producer. Okay. So maybe now they'll, they'll fear to tell me we don't have costume. Come with a shirt. <laughs> and they yeah. know you're so professional. Uh -huh, those you say, I can't come with yeah, my those shirt. things. Yeah. Before you know, you see Patrick moving on the street with his with shirt. With the same and shirt, and it was, uh, it was the one he, he did sign you in. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that okay. kind of thing. Yeah. So, Patrick, mm -hmm. where is the Ugandan industry at the moment in relation to the global movie industry? I mean, mm -hmm. are we in takeoff? Are we still behind? Are we, mm -hmm. Where are we? I, I think we are, we are in takeoff. Okay. Uh, but, but the problem with those phases is mm -hmm. they can last for years. It can be you can take, take off, off for, for 20, 20 years, years <laughs> you know okay. but but um is it positive takeoff it's yeah yeah i think it's positive okay the, the only thing that i i i i feel is lacking mm. is uh two things yes one is distribution okay if we if we could get like a kasiwu kid of sorts mm -hmm. what he did for for music then mm -hmm. if we can get it for films mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and we we try we try to bring together the east african markets okay. including congo mm -hmm. uh, rwanda burundi in yes. that ugandan movies can easily get there yes. and so can their movies get here yes. 
I feel like we need if if we do that we shall we shall have, I think you have a plan traction because if we have uh, business having the East African community moving through different borders that yes. there's almost a passport for the East African uh -huh. then is it that we are not coming up together as East Africans to sell the movies and also say we should move what I mean yeah. the movies and movies are part of business yeah they are. They, they are they are they are but most of us are us? still most of us are still looking at filmmaking mm. as passion. Okay. As, that's okay. why that's why it's very easy for someone to shoot a film mm. and they're not willing to maybe give it to a marketing team to market it so that it can go further why? with the fear that it's my baby. Oh. They will steal it. Mm. So they would rather keep it on their laptop. But when you're marketing, do you give the entire movie or you give a, a trailer? Well, I mean, it depends on the dynamics. Mm. Because you might make a trailer, mm. but it's not appealing. Okay. So they need to get the, the film, movie. look at it, and formulate their own trailer. Mm. Or even just generate memes or GIFs. Are they called oh, yeah, GIFs? Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. to, 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 it. to give it traction. Mm. And now for you, you won't see it. Mm. You'll be like, uh uh, they're dissecting my yeah, baby. No. What no. will profit you? You know? And then you and also because it's your baby, you mm. see, when it's your baby, uh, when, when babies are learning to walk, mm. it's, always, it's always clumsy. Yeah. They fall and they, they do fall, this, they but the it. mother will rejoice. Yes. It's, it's a moment of pride, regardless. Mm. It's mm. the same thing. If, if you look at film as your baby, mm. even if it makes for you two million, you're that okay. Is, you're like, yo, I made, I made a film yes. and it got me two million. Okay. That's enough for you to go into another but one. this is something better. No, yeah, but now... Two million is better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Yes. So you're happy. You're, you're like, yes. And even next year, you'll still be like, yes, two million. But now, mm. wait, Patrick, before even you go, before you, we deviate from this, there are <laughs> people yeah. who have said... Uh, a certain I would mention yeah of the course. TV station or mm, something of or the, the people buying content they're yeah. saying I invested over 30 million in my movie and they're saying they're giving me 4 million only mm. I'd rather keep my movie mm. what will you advise such people N auntie now now people like that need to have a breakdown of like the business sense towards that film okay that if if the person you were hoping to take the film mm. can only offer you 4 million mm -hmm. What's the duration mm. that that four million buys them? That's mm. also important. Mm. If he's giving you four million and he's just going to show your film for like a month, no, it's a year. Well, well, okay, if it's a year, mm. then maybe it doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And but but if you give it to him in that year mm. and he's not having exclusive rights, yes, yeah, okay, he, like he's showing it, but you mm. can take it you elsewhere. Say, yeah. Now, if that movie has a theme to do with cancer, mm. and you go and talk to the cancer institute, and they also give you like a 13M here, yes, yes, yeah, yes. and then as you're doing that, you realize that you place some products in there, and then you go to the companies with mm -hmm. the products, awesome. and they also give you mm. something. Before you know it, you can easily them. amass back what yeah, you put in that's right, right? Mm -hmm. so so it's just that um usually the entire thing is we put all our eggs in that one, in basket. one basket if it's not going to work you're like ah, ah <laughs> let me keep it it's like these ladies who watch over their maze and sit there and watch over the maze way to get ready before they sell it thank you why okay cool <laughs> now let me go talking about distribution yeah before we again go very far from mm. that distribution uh, when you talked of the East African community, yeah. there is something that happens. Mm. At the moment, Ugandans cannot give their movies to Netflix direct. Mm. You'll yeah. bear with me that. Yeah. Someone will have to go to Okada Media, maybe in yes. Kenya. Someone will have to go to South Africa. Or West Africa. Or West Africa. Yeah. So, how... And then, what I'm told, mm. accessing even these people. Because the Kenyan will say, how can the Ugandan of movie course. go? And my, of course. Kenyan movie. So, what mm. happens? Um, what happens to us who are having, if we are now in takeoff, mm. what happens to the movies? Until now, that's, that's what I was saying. Because when you look at Netflix, mm -hmm. it's a business. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's global and for them they understand algorithms and bichi, mm. those are numbers. It's yes. the math. Yes. Now, Uganda, mm. with your very little population, mm. you don't cut it for them. Okay. Kenya, mm -hmm. with their not so big population, mm -hmm. does not cut it for them. Mm -hmm. Congo, mm -mm. Mm. Uh, you know, South Sudan, Neda. Mm -hmm. But now, how about if we form a conglomerate? Yes. 40 plus, maybe 80 plus 100, year plus what, plus what. Mm. Then now there you'll be talking. Okay. Yeah? There they can listen. Mm -hmm. But for now, mm. uh -uh, you don't matter. Because mm. even girl in the yellow jumper, 
yeah you, you, yes it went there we were successful and recently we just uh we just scooped the award for best east african film oh yes B yes at the mbca yes, yes but yes. but even it it has been having a lot of issues mm. because of that mm. like where are the numbers yes you know even people in like like ugandans in the us they're like we can't find it on netflix mm. it's not here mm. it's because the algorithms that deal with boston mm. Uh, have so many other people asking for other content that's not that yeah right yeah so if if we if we broaden mm. the scope then mm. we broaden the market yes. then we broaden the online presence we mm. broaden everything mm. and now we can start to talk that's to some true. of those big players that's true but for now mm -mm, that's why i say it's still passion now um what will it take for uganda to have an okada media in mm. uganda Mm. That these are the people who are linked to Netflix, yes. and a Ugandan Patrick will come with this movie and give yes. Angel Media, yes. who is selling yes. movies to, 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 to Netflix, Netflix directly. Why is it that Kenya got that privilege? Mm. Why is it that South Africa has it? Why is it that West Africa? Why is it? What will it take for a Ugandan who is watching this show now, who will say, why? What step should I take to be like Okada Media? So that I have something in Uganda that yeah. someone will come and also sell and I distribute to Netflix. Yeah, one. Uh -huh. I would say there's a ray of hope. Yes. I think we're getting there. Okay. Because with the with the rise of Palm Magic and everything, yeah. now there's Ugandan content that can be seen. Yes. Yeah? Yes. So if you notice back back in the day, mm. Mnet used to like it was very best in mm. Kenya. Yes. Even Ugandan directors would just have to go to Nairobi in order mm. to get work. Mm. And then they would label that it's a Ugandan film. Mm. But you see the Kenyan matatus. Mm. You, you feel yeah, that yeah. Uganda is not Kawa. Mm. So Kenya has had it for, for a while. Yes. So has South Africa. Yeah. So has West Africa. Yes, They've yes. been doing this for a while. Mm. For us, we are just starting. We're just starting. Yes, we've been around. But whether we like it or not, we need to understand that we're just starting. Is Uganda where... Is Uganda... At the moment where Nigeria was 20 years ago, when you're watching the Mr. Ibus and the, the Aki and Popos, is that where we are? I would like to say we are better. We are better. We are better. Okay. Because in terms of quality of work, mm. we are better. Okay. We, 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 are, not, we are not there. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we, are, we are doing better. But now, it's just a thing of uh, getting organized. Okay. We need to recognize the structures. Mm. We need to put in some more capital investments. Mm. Like, we really need to show that yeah. now we understand that what we are doing is yes. a business. Okay. People still make films, and mm. they don't budget for what happens after the film is done. Okay. Okay. You know, the marketing, it's mm -hmm. never there. Yes. Like, you go online and you look for Ugandan films, and you're like, really? There's no, media you know, media. it's no still. I think it's still who killed Captain Alex. But how long ago was that? That was quite a while. You know, mm -hmm. how many films have really come up? And does it represent the actual content? Of that course, we have it, now? Doesn't. it doesn't. It's not. You know. Okay. Now, mm. how can a Ugandan producer who has a film fresh out to the market, mm. what steps should someone do to mm. ensure that this movie reaches to every part of Uganda? If you want every part of Uganda, yes. what are the steps one should do? At the beginning, mm -hmm. I would say give it out for free. Give it out for free. Burn DVDs okay. and just give them out for free. Okay. But because you're giving them out for free does mm. not mean that you make haphazard DVDs or whatever. Okay. Really do the effort. Like label them, yes. put pictures of the nice people, branding. like nice branding and yes. everything, but give it away for free. Okay. Then the next one. They will look for you. They will look for you. They will look for you. So number one, give it out for free. Give it out for free. Number two? Number two. Uh, I want my movie to hit the waves in Uganda. Yes. What should I do? Yes. Invest in marketing. Marketing. Invest in marketing. Okay. If it's Twitter, uh -huh. give the boys and girls who are there. Give them to push it. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Make, I don't know who told people that a movie should only have one trailer. Mm-hmm should have multiple yes and one thing i've realized those guys in hollywood when they know because for them they have like a like when the movie is out they have a private screening mm. for people that they know matter okay for instance like journalists yes. critics all okay. those people people who they know that what they see mm -hmm. is the eye of the audience yes. so when those people tell them that no this thing is going to suck mm. it has 30 percent mm. they're like oh now what we need to do because now we can't go back put in more 300 million to make better mm. let's just push mm. they start to push i remember i don't know but I, I i remember i'm not the only one that was disappointed with a certain 
Captain America. Mm. There was a Captain America that wasn't very, <laughs> but the way that thing was pushed. Was pushed. By the, the time, office. exactly, by the time we realized that this thing, uh -uh, Ebu Zemu, totally. that we have bought, totally we have watched it, mm. now it's all over. Okay. So, even us here, mm. just because, and, and the other thing is people don't like to be critiqued. Oh. And it's because it's your baby. Okay. You don't want to be told Why your baby is ugly. Baby? Oh. Hey. To become blood. Exactly. Why? Well, exactly. You know? Mm. But if you can bear that mm. and you know that, okay, my baby is ugly. Yeah. What do I have to do? I have to yeah. dress him nicely. Yeah. I have to make sure that he's clean all the time. Mm. I have to feed him well so that he always has that glow and everything. Then you're going to go places. Okay. But if you don't want to accept that your baby is ugly, mm. it means you, you still treat them as if they look like all the other babies. Like Princess and that's, Diana. <laughs> and okay. <it's> going to <laughs> so, to put this in context, yeah. Patrick has said, make sure you market your movie. Go to all social medias. Yeah. He has said, go ahead and do private screenings. That will help. Yes. I've been told, go to radio stations, right? Yes. Go to TV stations. Yes. Have media screenings. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I think all this will. And then burn CDs. Yes. Yeah? Yes. For like the people that matter. Mm. And then the mm. people that you're burning CDs for. Yes. Not necessarily for the Kampala crowd. Mm. You see, the problem is usually when we are making these things, we only think of the Kampala crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's that other crowd outside, outside of Kampala. The Those are the ones that need the CDs. By the outskirts, we mean Nansana, oh. Awempe, or you mean really. Gulu, yeah, exactly. Barara. Exactly. Gulu, Mbarara. Those mm. other places. Like really put put like those CDs on a, on a bus. Yeah. Put them on uh, you know in Arua Park uh, and those other places, bus stations. Let those guys go and watch. In They're those, going for Christmas. Yeah. Give them those DVDs. They've been getting a, a vehicle to move with uh, and yes, singing. Yeah, with exactly. these boys moving with the Yes. Okay. Yes. That makes right? sense. But but we only we only do those things for guys in Kampala. Guys in Kampala are contented. <laughs> Netflix is theirs. Uh, Spotify is theirs. Yeah. They know what's trending, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But there are also guys out there. Mm -hmm. And you need those as I well. I think you have a point. Because yes. this is how music has gone all over. These boys move with CDs and distribute them physically. And people like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what, do you, what, what do you have to advise actors who want to make it big in the industry? Now, actors, uh, unfortunately, I've been, I've not yet, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with the breed of actors that are coming on yes. recently. You're disappointed? Yeah. Okay. Because they, they see the end and not the process. They want to, to focus shine. On the journey, exactly, not the yeah, yeah. They want to shine. They mm. want to uh, get adverts. They want to get, you know, but they're yeah. not putting in the work. Yeah. And even when you tell them about putting in the work, mm. very few of them try to show the effort. Okay. Right? Mm. Uh, like, like books, you know. We have free workshops. They will not attend, mm. you know. We, 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 we send them like links to YouTubes, you know, to learn. How do you make a monologue? Mm. How do you do ABC? Mm. But they're not, willing. they're not willing. Then you put an audition call and someone is brave enough to, to, send, you, to send you a TikTok thing. <laughs> You're like, wow. <laughs> you know? Okay. So, uh, really, you have to get the discipline. And most people think discipline is about being polite. Mm. But that's not the discipline you want, actually. Okay. If the discipline you want is being polite, then this is bad business for you. Because here, there's no politeness. Everybody is out to make a buck off you. Okay. The producer wants to save on the money, so he wants to pay you less. <laughs> now, if you're polite, it means that everything they'll do, they'll say you'll be like, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. It's the, <laughs> it's the worst business for you. But the discipline I mean is self discipline okay do the work do vocal training mm -hmm. know what you're all about mm -hmm. train your body look nice mm -hmm. wear a shirt you know open up instagram go to studios make those nice pictures if you if, you, if you're failing in the english take an english class or get these apps that teach english or french or swahili mm -hmm. whatever just make yourself better that is the discipline i'm talking about you know Perfect. Yeah, you go on set, mm -hmm. and the actors are busy talking about what happened last night, how it was bloody, la 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 la. The guys set up the lights, everything. Then they're like, "Let's roll," and then the actor is like, "Ah, can I get a script?" Ah, oh, they're not ready. Exactly. And before so you, you know, they are throwing lines. Exactly. Exactly. So, so you need to be. You need to have 
that kind of now that's the discipline i want yeah not polite yes because even if you're polite how if you're forgetting lines you're off my set yes because i don't need your politeness i need your delivery yeah yeah okay yeah so really please let's work on ourselves as actors mm -hmm. yeah wow you've actually hit more than five birds <laughs> with one stone <laughs> which is something so what should be the immediate goal of an actor once he gets a script mm. Patrick has given him a script. Mm. This is your script. Yes. You're going to be the lead in my movie. You're yes. going to be the support. You're going to be this. Yes. What should an actor do yeah. with that script when they have got it? Should they be excited and move on? I have a script. <laughs> for me, for me my, um, my advice to actors is when you get a script, approach it with 100% energy. What do I mean? Yes. That if the scene says that you're going to maybe you're angry mm. give us anger that is at a hundred percent okay then let us be the ones to tell you ah let's Ready. turn it down a mm. bit here you see that place where you threw the cup ah, don't throw it there mm. how about you say the line and you move like this and then you throw the cup at this point okay. now you see you're giving me as a director work to do with you you're very mm. interesting mm. i'm going to think about you even at night when i'm in my bed yeah, i'm cool. like oh this actor did abc but i think if they do this and this but if you're the actor that comes with 20 percent you're told to be angry and you're like how could you do that to me <laughs> and then that's what you're giving Okay. I will not think about you at night. So when the projects come, mm. that's how people keep complaining that, hey, it's always so-and-so in this one's movie, so-and-so. It's because they enjoy working with them. They know that if I give him my script, by the time I say we are coming on set, they have mm. all the lines, they have the right energy. I don't even need to rehearse. Mm -hmm. If anything, we will just be on set and I say, okay, let's run through the line. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, now you know. Here you have to be like this. Here you have to be like this. Those are the kinds of actors that people want to work with. Even at auditions, mm. nobody has the time to tell you to do it again. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you go to an audition and they tell you to do it again, know that you're on the right track. Sure? Most times we are tired. We are just saying, thank you. Yeah. Next. Thank you. Next. That means you, you're, not doing, you're not doing well. Mm -hmm. If you're doing well, there's always something for you. At least they will ask you. Um, why did you approach it like that? Mm -hmm. what, can, you, can you try this? You know there you're on track. Okay. So come ready to give it 100%. If you're not feeling yourself, mm. go away. <laughs> Don't bother. That's not for you. Come another time. Okay, Patrick, there's a thin line normally that mm. actors use as a line of defense mm. between overacting and acting. Mm. Please enlighten that. Um, Some people say that one is overacting. Yeah. Patrick is overacting. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, yeah. What, what what is the line between overacting mm. and then uh, and acting? acting. <laughs> well, I think uh, what what we call overacting mm. is uh, in relation to everything else, including the people around you. Okay. When, when, and, and you see acting is reacting. Yeah. It is ping pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Mm. If, 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 if the ball comes to you at a certain speed, mm. you need to react accordingly. Yeah. So, if, if I'm acting with you, and I take it like this, mm -hmm. and you don't give it back, yeah. you're failing me. Therefore, I'm going to look like I'm overacting. Oh. Yet, exactly, if I do this, and you don't react, <laughs> you know? Mm. And you don't react at all. This and you just you don't know, exactly. <laughs> I'm overacting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am not scary at all. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? True. If I come to your face like this, mm -hmm. intimidating with all my gusto and, and everything. I'm smiling. And for you, you're just there. Mm. No one is going to buy it. Okay. Therefore, even if my nostrils start flaring and the cheek, <laughs> they're going to be like, he's overacting. Okay. You know? So okay. usually... The, the, it's like you said it's a thin line and yes. usually for me it's because of what's around you mm -hmm. you the one acting mm -hmm. playing that you need to be aware mm. understand the energies that they give back mm -hmm. and reciprocate because it will help don't say that now me i'm going to start 100 even if they're giving me 30 yeah you'll be overacting do you accept actors to correct each other while acting because someone says you're overacting reduce before you know someone is demoralizing yeah. the other. It happens a lot, yeah. right? Yes. So but what, for me, what do you advise uh -huh. those? For me, that's, that's indiscipline. 
Okay. That's in discipline. Mm. And uh, the, the directors I know that have been actors, mm. they will immediately reprimand that person. Okay. Because it has to be, everything has to be coming from the director. Yes. For you, like, mm. uh, what, what time did you take mm. to see that? That means you were not paying attention to, to, your, to your craft. Yes. So it shouldn't be you to, to, to you know, direct this person. And, um, and, but, but of course, sometimes it's okay to give notes. Mm -hmm. But it also matters how you give them. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If we are in the heat of the moment and people are already saying, Bana, it will to we are hungry and la 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 la. Action. And that's when you think to give me notes. That's wrong. Mm. Right? But if it's after and it's a relaxed mode, oh, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. they are changing, you know. Then and you then you come to me and you're, like, like, hey, hey, you're like, hey, by the way. I was thinking that maybe when you come into my face, mm. uh, maybe first take, first take a moment before you start saying the lines. Mm. La, 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 la. The person might appreciate that. Okay. Whether they take it or not, it's, it's up to them. Actor, but at least, divas. exactly. You tell and that's that the thing. And that's <laughs> the thing. Because, 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 because we are divas. Well, yeah. <laughs> not divas. We're just sensitive. Okay. Because I've taken months to prepare my thing that I've brought. Then you're now I've brought it, and now you're telling me, ah, oh, it's not up to par. Ah. Uh, you know, but 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 the way you say it really yes. matters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So, uh, Patrick, mm. while doing auditions, yeah, there are people who uh, who say while I'm auditioning. It's my nature. I don't give a hundred. Mm. Yeah, I give twenty. But you wait when we're real acting. That's when I'll show you. <laughs> what do you have to, about those people? Uh, those are liars. Mm -hmm. uh, those why, are liars. Why do you say so? There's something called body memory. Okay. This body of ours is funny. Yes. The body remembers. That's why mm -hmm. um, if you if someone has been a victim of say something violent, maybe assault. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they were grabbed a certain way. Yes. Even when you grab them the same way, mm -hmm. subconsciously, the body just reacts to, to react that because it remembers that this touch led to me losing an eye. Yes. So body memory is not something you want to try for with. Yes. When you come and mm -hmm. you say the lines a certain way with your dormancy and blah, 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 yes. the body will remember. Yes. And in that moment when you're saying the lines where they matter the most, the body will still summon the other 20% that you gave. Okay. That's why it's very dangerous not to give 100. So always in an audition, come and give you 100. Come and give you 100. Let give them work. Let okay. them be the ones. If they say get undressed, mm -hmm. why are you starting with the shirt? Take off the <laughs> pants. Be, hey, okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Because okay. honestly, honestly, yes. like <laughs> nobody starts undressing with the pants, especially in public. <laughs> you know? hey, they start. They start with the collar. What? Mm -hmm. What? What? So for you, when you come pants down. They'll yeah, be like, ah, ah, ah. You're going to yeah, let's give you another one. Can you try? <laughs> you know, and then now you know you have their attention. Because okay. sometimes you be at auditions and some mm. people are just in their phones. They're like, ah, we've had those fun. things before. So you need to do something that will keep you memorable. Okay. That will make them remember that, hey, this guy, number four, okay. was, you know, yeah. Patrick, mm. does a good stage actor make a good film or movie actor? Mm. Mm. Um, and what's the difference between yeah, the two? I know yeah, you do both. Yeah. Uh, back, back in the day, there mm -hmm. used to be a difference. Okay. A big difference between yes. stage okay. and film. Mm -hmm. And usually that difference was in terms of uh, the size. Yes. On stage, you have to be big. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're crying, you really have to, like, you know, so that even the guy at the back can see that, oh, now they've broken down. Yes. But um, over time, we mm -hmm. have kind of, like, we mm -hmm. have kind of, you know, s smudged out that line. Okay. And uh, for me, I feel like stage actors make the best actors overall because there's a certain discipline that stage instills in you. Yes. There's a certain stillness that stage instills in you okay. uh, because most times when we are delivering say monologues or power powerpoints within the play mm. you're told to be still and under maybe a light like it has to hit you like this a certain point so you're doing all the acting and blah blah blah, blah and then when that moment comes you're just supposed to be right there yes. so that the light hits you just right exactly and everything point. and then you go into your you know now that kind of training, it, it, it is very, very powerful mm. when you bring it to the camera. Moving, mm, yeah. Because the camera 
for it, it's it's really here. It's in your face, and mm. you don't need to make all those big movements like yeah. we do on stage. Yeah. But even like I've said, with the, the contemporary plays and everything nowadays, yeah. those lines are now blurry. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, but I but I encourage people to do stage because there's a certain discipline it instills okay. in you, and I think even the best actors in the world. I think for me, it's the Russians, the Germans, okay. uh, the, the 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 Koreans, Chinese, mm -hmm. and then the British. When when you see the 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 people that have been doing plays. Mm -hmm. And their performances, it's wow. It's wow. It's wow. Okay. So, Patrick, mm -hmm. as we come to the conclusion of this segment, mm. I need you to look into the camera and give actors five pieces of advice that they should do. One, you're an, an award-winning actor. You're, you're always in many auditions and you're always auditioning actors mm. in the castings. Mm. You are and you're coming up to be one of the, uh, the, one of the highest growing talented directors, please just talk to the audience and give them five tips that an actor should religiously follow yes. so they can make it and yeah. come to the epitome of the acting of the acting career. Then we can go on to the next segment. Okay. Hi actors, I'm Patrick Nkaka Alukanyi mm -hmm. and uh, I'm here to advise you. One, um, be prepared. Always be prepared. Yeah, if you're going for an audition, dress well, because you, you have to assume that at least in the script, there's someone who's dressed in a suit, there's someone who's smart casual, and then there's someone who's casual of jeans and, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Rarely will you find that there's a beggar, so you come with torn <laughs> things and everything. Rarely will you find that maybe there's an over-the-top character yeah. who's maybe a clown or something. Mm -hmm. Rarely. They're there, but rarely. So just be smart. Yeah. That's number one. Then, when you get to the audition, find the script. Read the characters. Understand them. Get time to yourself. Be to yourself. Read those things. Say them out loud. Usually, I read them like four times. Mm -hmm. Then after the fourth time, I start now saying them from the head. Okay. I discard the script such so that by the time I go in there, I'm off book. It's very important. Mm. Number two, you have to understand that as an upcomer, there are some things that are just going to hit you. One of them is exploitation. Mm -hmm. Be ready for that. But as they exploit you, maybe money-wise or time-wise, you are also exploiting them exposure-wise. Mm -hmm. Because that's the first thing you need when you're starting. As an up-and-comer, you need that exposure. You need people to see you. Number two, mm -hmm. be nice. Yeah. It does not hurt to be kind, to be polite. Okay. Just be nice to people. So that even if your performance is not as good, at least people will say that, Bambi, that guy, when he's around, he's good. He's good. Mm -hmm. When we say sit, he will sit. When we say talk, he will talk. When we say ABC, he will follow. Mm. Let's have him again, okay. yeah, as you work to improve your craft. Number two, exercise. Number three? Yeah. Exercise, uh, number three. Mm. <laughs> exercise. <laughs> exercise the body. Okay. Exercise the mind. Mm -hmm. Do lots of reading. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we do. Yeah. We read scripts, guys. You find an actor who says, me, I hate reading. <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder. It's laughable. Yeah, because now, what projects do you do? We don't know, we don't know a lot of uh, production houses that do improv. Mm. So it's script, script, script. Read. And the more you read, the more the mind will learn things. The more you get exposed about cultures, mm. about vocabulary. It's amazing. Then, exercise your voice. Because your voice is who you are. Right? Mm -hmm. They need that. It's, it's, it's incredible, the things that you can do with just your voice. Uh -huh. Yeah? Then number four, audition as many times as you can when you're starting out. Mm -hmm. A time will come whereby you don't need to. Trust me, that time will come whereby everybody knows you and they just call you. They have you on speed dial. Mm. But before that time comes, audition. audition, 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 audition. Because there, you're going there to make a statement. I think I have like uh, 95 auditions to my name. Wow. Yeah. At the National Theatre, at Bat Valley. Uh, there was a place in, uh, on Entebbe Road. Mm. I, I used to go to those places like all and out of the, the 95 time. 95 how many rejections? Uh, a lot. 94. A lot of rejections, a lot of failures. <laughs> yeah. You know, projects that just don't take yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 
and Gabriel very Moses. few exactly mm. and very few like successes yeah but at least guys got Audition. to know i made a statement of you guys i'm here and I'm, I'm not here to play. I'm looking for work. Exactly. Mm. So before you know it, the calls start to they come, come in, mm. right? But even now, I still do audition. Okay. I look out for the company. If I'm interested in who they are, who the director is, mm. how the script was written, mm. I will audition. Yeah. If I can't make it in person, mm. I will ask them politely that I send a video. Mm. And I will send a video and I audition. Wow. And number five? Number five. Mm. Uh, number five, number five, get onto the platforms. Yeah, we have so many platforms about the industry and for actors. Mm -hmm. Network, it's very important. Your fellow actor could have your next job. Why? Because as actors, as we grow, we grow into other things. Mm -hmm. We grow into being makeup artists, into costume people, into uh, location scouts, into cinematographers. So your, your fellow actor could have your next job. Please, network. Let them know. They will have your next job. They post those things all over. Yeah. That's it. Thank you very much. That is Patrick, uh, the big man himself. <laughs> now, we're just going to go, Patrick, for a short break. When we come back, uh, I'm just going to ask you a few quick fire questions, about five, just about your life. Answer them in less than 30 seconds, then we shall have to wrap up the show, right? All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Angel Tony Acer, Prince of the Sun, and we are at Coffee City. This is the hub where we have all this magic going on because this is where all the stars pass. Now we're going for a short break, and when we come back, we're going to have a small side of Patrick. We have been seeing only the serious side, right? <laughs> but let's see the other part of him. See you right after this break. Uncle, whenever you'd go out for those business trips, I would go out looking for girls and bring them home. We would drink. We would have fun and I would sleep with them. And they would leave early morning. Then I would clean up. But this time... This time... Hey. was to come in here, how was she going to handle this? Uncle, I am you, very... You are not very sorry, because you shouldn't have done this! What is this? What is this? It was the worst day of my life. Maswala. Leila, please! Leila, 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 please! want my finger. I don't even understand what you're saying, please. <laughs> please. Jeff. 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 Get out of this stupid drum. Get out of this stupid drum. I'm tired of this nonsense, Jeff. What? What are you looking? What? You're acting strange. Now, what is happening to you? You're acting so strange. You know what? I'm not having this nonsense anymore. Get out of my place. Out! Wait, hey, hey! What's Leave you? me alone! Hey, jump! Forgive me, uncle. Because we always do our stuff from there. Come on. Jeff, this would mean. I don't have time to think about that crap now. Please, just go. Get the clothes and go. Oh, you must 
be really mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angel Tony Acer, Prince of the Sun. I am with a multi-award winning actor himself. <laughs> Patrick Nkakalukaji. <laughs> now, Patrick, yes. I'm going to ask Patrick a few questions, cheesy questions about his life, so that we see the lighter side of his, and then we see what he has to tell us. This is going to be short and fire, quick fire. So, Patrick, would you date a fan? Yeah. You would? Yeah, I would. I would, I mean... <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, anybody can come up and say I'm a fan. Okay. Because I saw you on TV okay. or something. Yes. So, and now, you never know your partner would be a fan. E exactly. So, so there's no yeah. limit to that. Yeah. It's not I like would. a boarding school or exactly. something. Exactly. I would. It's a free one. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, in my spare time, I love to read. Okay. I love to write. Spare time you read? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought you would love... swim or... Go for PlayStation. <laughs> no, I, I, I used to have a PlayStation, mm. but I had to give it away. Oh, because oh my it was god, time when, consuming. yes, when I get a game until it's at the end, you don't stop. I will not sleep, I will not eat, wow. I will just be glued like this. You'll research exactly. So I gave it away, okay? Yeah, so I read. Mm -hmm. And uh, the things I read about are funny. Really. Yeah, 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 I yeah. just I just read about life. Mm -hmm. If something strikes me, an idea, and I'm curious about it, mm. I'll read about it. Okay. And then if there's nothing else, I'll grab a Tom Clancy novel. Okay. And I'll and read that. Yeah. Talking about reading, if you write a novel about yourself, about your life, what would, would the title be? How I didn't go to business school. How I didn't go to business school. Wow. In one second, is there a reason? Because mm, I didn't go, I, I had to go to business school, but I didn't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the most useless talent you have? I'd say. Apart from eating. Uh, <laughs> that's useful, my friend. That's useful. I. Uh. I. Uh, okay. Um, I, think, I think I care too much. Oh. Uh, I'm talents. an empath. I'm an empath. Okay. I'm such an empath. God. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure those you care for are, are very lucky. Yeah, and, and even those that I shouldn't care for. I mean, being, being cared for by someone who is at the epitome of Uganda ah, actors. Someone on. who's, no. who is the biggest actor in Uganda. No, wow. statistically, you're the best actor in Uganda. I mean, you won the UFF. In Uganda, you're the biggest actor, definitely. You're on top. <laughs> so the statistics say oh it, right? Oh, my so God. So imagine having that empathy, being uh, cared for by that person, <laughs> the best actor in Uganda. I'm sure they're lucky, right? Well, yeah, but sometimes sometimes you're, you're tired because you don't mm. really have much that you can do. Okay. And it's, it's the worst feeling. Yeah. Yeah. When you care too much. Yeah. Okay. You want to help, but sometimes you just can't. You can't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your annoying habit? Annoying habit. Mm. I, I ask too many questions. Ah, okay. mm. I ask too many questions. I'm just like that. This time it's me asking. Yeah, it's just you, are, yeah. <laughs> just you asking. <laughs> okay, what would you want to be remembered about? I want to touch lives. Okay. I really want to touch like lives. Mother Teresa? No, 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 no. Through, through what I do. Mm -hmm. And for now, it's coaching actors. Coaching actors. Yes. Okay. Because I know that at some point I may not be able to get to some, you know, some, some, uh, what are they called? Some pedestals. I yeah. may not get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if someone I touch get gets to that point, okay. I'll be very happy. Teach someone I'll how feel to fish, exactly, but don't give them fish. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like legacies are not buildings or statues, mm. but it's the lives that you touch. Yeah. Those people will never forget That's you. That's true. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, and finally, what's the most weird thing a fan has done for you? Sent nudes. Oh, <laughs> right, man. On Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it was enjoyable. Well, well, it was, it was, it would have been enjoyable uh -huh. being the man I am, uh -huh. but it, it was so weird. It was, hey, Boom, then before you, you yeah, as you're typing, hey, back. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was oh. not, it was not a Ugandan. It oh. was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you trying to protect that Ugandan? No, no, no. It was not a Ugandan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it cool. was, uh, she was from, I think, Indonesia. Indonesia. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So. Indonesian. 
Yeah, in yeah, Indonesia. I think Indonesia. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, sure. Okay, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay, so Patrick, we've come to the end of this amazing show. It was an honor hosting you. I'm very glad that you've shared with us a lot of information, us here in the studio, and then also our audience out there. I'm going to give you just Thank 30 you. seconds to look into the camera, give your last words of advice. And at the end of the day, we do a simple ritual here where we say, please, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to this YouTube channel, My Star with Acer. All right. So once you're done, just tell the people All to right. subscribe and then we get out of here. All right. Um, to those who are watching, thank you so much. For the time that you spend the data yeah. to watch this channel we thank you and we don't take you for granted we believe that through you we will be able to achieve everything that we wish to achieve with our industry yeah we don't take that for granted to the actors out there keep being you keep pushing keep being consistent don't be don't be raising chickens today and tomorrow you're in guts no everywhere it's hard it's always hard at the beginning but keep going your blessing is where you feel most comfortable. Yeah. And please, subscribe to my star with Asa. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the big man himself has told you, please, don't forget to subscribe to my star with Asa and hit that notification bell to get all the notifications whenever they are due. My name is Angel Tony Asa, Prince of the Sun. Ciao, adios, I'm done.